Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Fano from Finland here. If you don't know me, I'm an audio engineer. That's how I make my living. I'm a nerd that's interested in audio stuff. I also do a little bit of music tuition, and Patreon is also part of my living. So do check out the stuff. If you need mixing, mastering, get in touch, music tuition, I'm your guy. Links will be below. But today we're going to take a look at Isotope RX8 and Neural Mix Pro by Algorithm. And why they interest me is I'm always um, interested in the latest technological advancements in the world of audio. And I make music, I produce music, and I've been making sample-based music all my life. And at some point, I couldn't help noticing that we were getting tools that allowed us to isolate elements in music, or at least help us to take something out of the music. What do I mean by this? For example, Today I'm going to take a look at how you can try and take away the drums and the bass, vocals and stuff like that. So let's just dive straight into it. I I have the apps open here. This is Neural Mix Pro. I haven't yet bought it. I'm kind of um, a little unsure, but um, I still hope RX8 is something I own. Let's just see what they can do. This is, um, I have to pick a song that's mine so I wouldn't run into any copyright issues. So here's a quick part of the song. This is not the whole song. I just wanted to get something that's kind of short. So the story behind this is... Um, I got the vocals, the, the vocal is blue. You probably heard of blue. So I got the actually got the vocals from Redef Recordings who released my first hip hop productions that I've been putting out as Fat Giver. So I did get the vocals officially, so it's not like a bootleg or anything. So, because Redef uh, is in contact with Blue and they wanted me to do a remix. So the beat was done, the part of the beat was done by a friend of mine who made music as Natty Boyga and then I just made a whole song around the beat and put the vocals in there and did the mixing and production and everything. The link to the song on Bandcamp and Spotify will be below, but let's just take uh let's just get into it. I've been doing enough talking already. So let's see what we can do and what I would ideally want to do. So I do have uh here I basically have beats vocals and bass. There's not a whole lot of other stuff going on, but let's see what we can do and how these two pieces of software compare. So I have the same song here in your own And same stuff in here. Alright, so we have established that. So let's see, I can, if I wanted to take the vocals out, I can to a um, varying degree of success. Losses. Or I can isolate them. Let, let me just, uh, let me take them out. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of interested in, interested in which of these apps does a better job. It is fairly nice. Let me do this with RX. So RX8 has this music rebalance tool. And here you have these elements. And already there's one thing I want to point out that where RX8 is a little better, for, at least for now. You will see that in Neural Mix, let me move this a little bit. So, uh, okay, I cannot keep these both screens open at the same time. But let's see in Neural Mix, you have vocals harmonic and drums and it does work kind of nicely so so get vocals drums and the rest and rx8 you have vocals drums and the rest and then you have bass so that is nice so let's do a quick comparison Let's let, let's go for drums only. So um, let me do this. 
and I'm doing it exactly wrong so I don't know if I can actually just mute two things at, at once but all right I'm still learning this but I know RX more so let's isolate drums I want to do that in RX8 so I could technically just solo this and I can preview in RX8 but it, it's not as fast like here on neural mix I just hit space and there you go this is why where neural mix is super nice and fast it I mean convenient it, the loading time is almost not a non-existent and you just hit solo and there it is RX8 it's the same clip I'm gonna render it and it takes a little while sure enough you have these settings you have quality and I won't be I don't want to go super deep into the parameters here but the quality does have a little bit of um effect on the actual result so now even you see I'm I'm going for the best quality so you cannot say that it's very fast but let's at least see how it's going to sound okay so I'm done with the processing so let's listen and compare real quick so drums only rx8 I don't know it's kind of hard to tell you would have to loop these over and over again and uh, compare I don't want to be looping forever but um I think I kind of like them both to an extent but then to an extent I don't like it because it, it takes away a little bit because let me undo listen to the snare for example there's something that's lost a little bit like the snare is, I feel it's not 100% the same, which it's not surprising, but this is what I do for a living when I mix and master music, the nuances. But it's fairly nice. Let me just real quick once more. You can obviously, you can do your own tests. Okay, I could do this all day. Let's try something else. Let me just, um, let's go for bass. So, oh yeah, I cannot do that in Neural Mix Pro because there's no bass. And this is a, this is a bummer, but I did actually write or tweet to algorithm and they said that the bass isolation is on the roadmap. So I cannot fully compare that because here I could I could, would, would go for music rebalance and um, I would just solo bass and let me just go for a good quality and it's much faster. Still takes a bit of waiting, but uh, it's not as slow as the best quality. So It's good to undo and just flick back to their rap artists put prices on the rap artists put prices on the bass in this song is slightly weird anyway so money my bag it is placed with a great pass let me try with another type of bass because I have another clip of this song there's a there's a section in the song where the bass switches to something different like a sign bass and I think that um rx8 does pretty well in that sign waves department so what i did here this is another section in the song i'm just trying to okay whatever so music rebalance and bass and this is sine wave based let me actually um have you hear it first so Probably be a 
So let me try isolating this base. I've found that with 808 and sine wave type base, it works pretty well. So let's see what we can get out of this one because I just wanted to pick this because it's kind of probably a little easier. It's it, the base is not so harmonic. Uh, let's let's see what we can get. Let's play from here. Undo. Yeah, I like it. I in mastering I also use the isotope music rebalance tool, which is essentially doing the same stuff in mastering, and it does save me time. It doesn't. Let's say I'm mastering a song and their beat is like a little quiet. I don't have to necessarily email the client or the producer and ask him to raise the beat by one dB because the isotope um, music rebalance in Ozone does that. So it has saved me some emails between clients. But let's go back to comparing a little bit. Once again, um, let's change. Let me go for this because I changed the. Uh, Let's see, let's try and take that hey, hey, hey part out. So here on Neuromix, I would only just mute it. I would love to uh, loop it and I think I can. All right, so I did find looping on player settings and I won't be going into that, but I did loop this section where it says, hey, hey, hey. So let's see how it fares. I'll try to take it out. If my life was a spaceship. Let's, because there's this little section of this rap as well. So let me try and take this section and compare. So let's just take vocal down. I go for good quality and compare. I said Tope RX does is it's magic and let's see what we can get. So it's kind of nice. Let me take this out. Yeah, I got to extend the loop actually. So, um, Let's go here in and out. It's kind of nice. You can just move this around. It's a bit like Serato. If my life was a spaceship, you'll probably be astronomy. Let me go here. If I would appreciate if this snapped to a grid, but it's okay. If my life was a spaceship. So if my life was a spaceship. I'm trying to listen to the drums. I think RX8 does a little bit better in the drums department. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think this is what you do when you get really critical. You just have to go like compare, 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 back to back. There's something more natural about RX, but um, about the um pros and cons i think neural mix is it's really fast like let me just show you uh, let me close the app and um yeah there it is so so i really want to see where this app can go 
so um, I haven't bought it yet, but especially if the base isolation happens, I will buy it just for sake of convenience. So you can see, you drag it in and it doesn't take very long and immediately you can just In a song like this, you could have just the bass because there is not much more happening there. So you, from here on, you could go and if you wanted to export the stems, you could. I haven't paid for it yet, so I cannot show and do it with Neural Mix. But also on RX, let me, let me go back to the first clip with full on wrapping action. So just close the other one so i want to isolate and get the track so music rebalance and if you went and hit render no separate here what it does is it says output stems into separate tracks ignores gain controls so this is also handy so just to remind you what we had here we have this rapping and bass. So you do have vocals, bass, beats, and uh, some other harmonic elements, musical elements in the mix. So music rebalance, let's hit separate. And it, it does a bit of CPU beard stroking. And then on the top tabs, you see that you get these elements. And you would, you could, from here on, you could go and like now I hit save and you would get to save these tracks wherever you want so i love how convenient it is here and obviously here you could go and export them as well so what this tool is great for <laughs> a lot of things if you are into sample based music like i go and i go and still buy vinyl uh, i buy a lot of kind of just kind of crappy vinyl sometimes just in just hunting for samples i love bringing some records home listening to the record at with attention and trying to find something that works in my hip-hop if you haven't heard my hip-hop do check it out if you like kind of 90s east coast style sample based stuff that's what i do but this these tools are interesting for me because it, it is another level of um sample based ner nerdery being able to take these out especially what i've been doing is like taking bases out of old funk and it's it just it, it it is often a little dirty i admit like here you get a little it may be a little dirty but then when it's in the mix it's not really with bass you cannot get super nerdy about the bass when it's in the mix and sure enough vocals if you want to get some phrases and whatever it is fairly nice and i really i just really want to see where this technology goes so um yeah definitely if you want to do your own comparison do and see which one you like better but my whole point is just i think it's very exciting technology it's where we are living in an amazing time in in terms of um what audio can do there are other tools i want to show later on on my youtube and patreon but that is it for now just to uh, get you guys stoked about it hopefully and um yeah if you like this want to support me check out my patreon and um i'll see you next time thank you guys